Hello and welcome to another QuickBooks Online tutorial. My name is Enoch Garcia. I'm with Honest Accounting Group and today we're going to talk about how to generate a reconciliation report. There's a couple ways to do this but let's go with the easy way straight to the point. Let's go to accounting once you've logged on. Let's go to accounting and reconcile. This screen here is showing us a little bit of a summary and this is where you would start off a reconciliation. If you already know this, uh, I'll just be quick. We select what account we want to reconcile. In this case, I have a checking account. It shows us when was the last time we reconciled, the ending date of the last time. So it was September 30th. The beginning balance, you enter the ending balance and the date and uh, you will be able to start reconciling. Assuming you've already done this, your bookkeeper accountant has already done this, and you just want to see the report, let's go to summary. And here in this summary, it'll show everything that's been reconciled. It'll give you the statement ending date and when it was reconciled. All you have to do is click on it to open it. I'm going to look at checking. So here we have the report. And if you don't know how to read this, we're going to go over it really quick. Here we can uh, switch between savings or any account that you've reconciled or that you want to see. Here, if you have reconciled multiple dates, you will be able to select them. In this case, I've only reconciled once. This is a sample company. Your company name, period ending date matches. Uh, when it was reconciled, the 24th matches the previous screen, who it was reconciled by. Okay, now the summary, what it tells us is, what was the starting balance? Well, the starting balance for this reconciliation was $5,000. We had 30 checks or payments that cleared, totaling $6,146.85. We have 11 deposits, totaling $32.71.35. And that resulted in an ending balance of 2124.50. Okay, so then the register balance as of 930 for this account, yours will be different, uh, was 2124.50, just like the ending balance. Anything that cleared after? Nope, because we haven't done anything. We haven't done any activity. Unclear transactions. These transactions were there as of this reconciliation date. These transactions were there. So they did not clear. So we have 923.50. And so if we do the 2124.50 minus the 23.50 uh, that hasn't cleared, we have a register balance of 1201. Now, here we have checks and payments cleared, 30. We see this figure here. We have the same figure here. And this is the total dollar amount. So these are all of the transactions that cleared in the month of September. It includes some August ones in here for some reason. But here's the ending balance, the total balance of uh, checks and payments. If we look at deposits, the same thing, 11, just like the summary states, and 32.71.35. And below we have the transactions that have not cleared, totaling 923.50. When it comes to exporting this report, we have a little bit of limitations. We cannot export it to Excel. We can only print. So you hit print and um, the report will just print out, but it will not export into Excel. And in reality, this is one report that you don't want to be modifying. What is, is what it is. Um, what cleared, cleared. What didn't clear, didn't clear. Uh, that's number one. Number two, uh, just as a tip, I recommend if you have one individual writing and making payments for you, writing checks and making payments for you, I highly recommend that that individual does not reconcile your books just to avoid fraud. If they're the ones writing checks out and they're also reconciling books, then it's very easy to... Um, categorize something as something else, a transaction as something else, and it could be result in um, theft or 
anything to that effect. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. New videos come out every day. Any questions you have, leave it in the comments below. Thank you.